<laughs> Welcome to Homegrown USA, guys, where we demand the truth. We read our Bibles and home remedies, they seem to work. I hope you guys are having an awesome night. We've got news coming coming out as we speak. And if we have any news break, why we're doing a show, we're certainly going to tell you about it. We've got drones. We've got snows. We've got <laughs> snow. We got alerts on almost every phone in America when this storm coming. We're going to go over that. We're going to go over a bunch of stuff. It's too much. Let's just get to it right now. So I hurried up. I wanted to get on here, and um, <clears throat> you guys, excuse me, you guys are going to be doing the show with me, really, because I, I just I wanted to get on here and get this news out because I know a lot of you guys, well, you don't watch TV, like you know, you don't you're you don't watch it, you don't have access to stuff like that, and well, personally, I don't either. I just you know try and follow maps and try and get you guys the latest of what I find, and you know all those little rabbit holes I'm led down. So let's get to this right away and make this show as short as possible and, well, as fun as possible too, right? we got to have fun. All right, so let me get the right screen up here and that would work better. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do is give a shout out to Saltwater DreamWorks. This is a really good friend of mine that goes out every day and records the ocean, the sunrise. Like, how does it get better than that? We've been helping her out. She's up to 340 subs, and um, she's in the middle of writing a book, and she's all about helping people with anxiety disorder, brain injury, and I'll tell you, you watch these sunrises, and they're absolutely stunning. I mean, they really are. It's it's beautiful to watch, and anybody that's got issues with that kind of stuff, you put this on the big screen TV, which we all have now in hospitals and whatnot it, i believe this is very healing it's very relaxing and whatnot so the channel is saltwater dreamworks i'll show you that again real quick and we'll put a link in the comments but if you go over there said tell her homegrown sent you that'd be awesome of you she's doing the best job she can and let me tell you it's cold out there in the mornings i kind of grew up on that beach it's at shikatik virginia Moving right along, Space Station Rust be launched from Wallops, set for February 9th. Now, if anybody, you guys know, Wallops, Wallops Island is right before Chicoteague. So when you go to Chicoteague, this beach, um, you go through Wallops Island. This is just a reminder to anybody that wants to go. This is, the public is allowed to be there. They're actually encouraging people to go. So it's February the 9th. You can look it up, check your latest listings. I can't say that word. Okay. Well, these people here see alarming trend worldwide as uh, China builds up blueprint of a persecution. Guys, that's not good. When I say biblical stuff is happening, really, like uh, shortly before President T signed phase one of the historic deal, with them, a uh, pastor described the fear and intimidation that all the believers are enduring under uh, this. Um, well, yeah, you guys get it. So, you know, it's it's a very sad thing, and it's only going to get worse. And look at all the countries where that word is banned. And it should be, our country should really be banned. I mean, think about it. I'm not allowed to say that word on YouTube. <laughs> so, I mean, really, it's it's becoming it's becoming revelation. You know that book? It really is, and I truly believe we're getting close to that when when this is happening. Um, the this word here, you know, and this word here is talked about, as we all know. New. The same place, out of the same place, a virus will have infected hundreds, hundreds, guys. This is breaking. This just came out two or three hours ago. And there's something to this that I really don't get. The number of people already infected by this mysterious virus emerging in, in uh, China is far greater than official figures suggest. Scientists have told the BBC. Now, the thing is, they don't know what it is. 
There have been 41 laboratory confirmed cases of the new virus, but UK experts estimate the figure is closer to 1,700. Not only that, but as of just, like I said, this just came out um, hours ago. The CDC to screen at the U.S. airports for signs of new virus from China. Again, it, it's telling you it is highly unusual for them to do this. The last time the CDC did routine passenger health screenings was during the Ebola outbreak. So, I mean, no one knows what it is, and um, they're doing the best they can to stop it. They're checking if you have a fever when you get off the airplane. Everybody's coming from there. Here's what caught me, though. A North Carolina teen was healthy and athletic. The flu killed her in days. Now, I don't know if you guys know anybody that that went through this, but I kind of do. And sometimes I think they put different names to different things that are, you know, hurting people or killing people. Um, was this this? Was this the flu? What was it? You know what I mean? There's so many different diseases out there. So many different, like, there's so much different stuff going on. Can they get it right every time when they don't even know what this stuff is? And there's so many different strands. I mean, you got so many different strands. That even if you know you get a flu shot, it's a 50-50 chance they get it right. So what really happened here? Um, well, we got to take it as what it is. But it's definitely something to be concerned about. And later on in the show, we get to that map. And we show you all the outbreaks. So we'll be there shortly. Um, brutal cold snap brings death toll to at least 120 in Afghanistan, India, and Pakistan. You guys, things are not like looking good. Every time I look at the news, it looks like the end of the world. <laughs> 170 in Afghanistan, and that's a lot of people. And, you know, there's stuff going on everywhere. So how would the Space Force wage war? We know what the Space Force is about now, guys. It's for war. Interesting, huh? Um, as much as they don't tell us about it, it's, uh, you know, they say it's from people hitting satellites and anti-satellite weapon tests and all this. But what is it for? I, I really want your input on this. What is the Space Force for? Because... When you think of space and you think of bad guys, I think of, like, entities. I think of, you know, like, I don't think, when I think of aliens, I think of entities. I think of bad things that shouldn't be here, you know. Maybe I'm wrong, but, I mean, what, what are they doing up there? I don't really think they're protecting our satellites, but I could be wrong, you know. Just let me know in the comments. I want to know your input on the Space Force. It's uh, it's not really comical, really, because, well, look at this. Remember we covered this just the other day. Space, SpaceX continues to blast satellites into orbit. Well, all the satellites, you guys, are 5G. They're trying to create this web all around us for communications and, well, I don't know, spyware. Who knows? Easily, 2020, SpaceX became the operator of the world's largest active satellite with 180 satellites orbiting the planet. Like, really? <laughs> Dumping a large amount of new stuff into this place, into a place, usually comes with some consequences. Really? So they got this thing down here, which is, that's CGI. It looks CGI to me. I don't know. I just like to see the picture of, you know, people upside down, maybe, in Australia. But look at this. Look how fast this is moving. Like, look how fast this moves. You see that? So, that's a satellite, they're saying. When I look at that, I mean, how does a satellite move that fast? I don't mean to be stupid, but you know what? I'm just analytical, and I think critically. I mean, that's a large you know, a large area, and this thing is just getting it. I mean, just look at it, boom, all the way across. It almost looks like a falling star to me. We've all seen them, but they're saying it's a satellite. Um, they might manage to bring the brightness down a bit, but these things are so bright already. 
What's really flying around up there? Is it really this stuff? Like, is it? You know? Um, this is kind of funny. Uh, forgot, uh, forget 98.6 Fahrenheit. Humans are cooling off. <laughs> you guys. It's no longer 98.6. When you take your temperature, humans are cooling off. This is kind of a funny story. I had to put it in there just to put a, put a smile on someone's face. You know, it did mine. So it goes in and it says that these scientists checked it out and the new body temperature is more like, uh, let me see here, 97.9 when they checked a bunch of people. So I don't know. I don't take my temperature that often. But if you guys get a reading of 97.9, I guess now that's the new norm. Uh, here we go, Colorado drones. So we've got the military testing this. We've got uh, they're getting information. Like, is that what's going on here? Are we getting information from the drones? Um, we've had local agencies out here. The FAH has been called. The FIF. FBI has been called, the state police have been called, and look at all these videos on this stuff. Well, I found something today that blew my mind, and I'm going to show it to you right here. Okay, mysterious drones theories continue to grow about mysterious drones seen in Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska. So people are seeing this. This is not like an illusion. Well, you never know. We live in a world of deception, right? So, I mean, it, but I doubt it. Conspiracy theories mount over mysterious drones spotted in Colorado. So, of course, people who have conspiracy theories, I don't know who that would be, but you know them goofy people with conspiracy theories make up all kinds of stuff, like the militaries, you know, could be testing and getting information. Mystery drone sightings in Colorado, Nebraska, and Wyoming prompt uh, theories. We got theories. We got all this stuff going on. Officials to scale back operations investigating the drones over the northeastern Colorado. So we've had all these people, right? We've had, we've had all these people. We've had all the authorities, all the police. We've had the FAH. We've had the FBI. We've got all these people and no one can figure out what these drones are. But look what I found. This is interesting. So I'm just picking through articles, and you know how I'm led down these paths. What movement in your life was so shocking that you didn't even believe that it was happening? Okay, so now this is talking about these drones. The most shocking movement in my life is now, and I can't believe it's happening. Just writing these words makes my stomach tighten. The past five days blur together, constant adrenaline pushing through my body. I've never tired. My appetite has also disappeared. I can't believe this is happening. About two weeks ago, I hear a story that people near where I live are seeing drones flying over at night, over their royal ranches and homes. These drones do not make a sound. They travel alone in swarms, and they move extremely fast. Like, is that's crazy. Like, she's had these, these you know, symptoms for the exact same time that these things have been flying over so what are they really doing or is, is she making the story up you know who knows but i just know that that's that's interesting right i mean because a lot of people are sick a lot of people don't feel good and they're flying these things around and i thought about this and i'm like you know are we really that stupid <laughs> i mean that like our phones know where we're at at all times all times they listen to us it was 2020 and the authorities cannot figure out where these drones are who's operating them to me it just seems outrageous it seems like someone's behind the booth like the wizard of oz and like someone's laughing like they fell in for it look like like we're putting all this stuff up there and like, you, you know, it's crazy. You can't tell me that there's no way that we can figure out what they are. I mean, with all the technology we have and they're spinning this as, you know, well, everybody checked into it and, well, we have no idea what these things are. Come on. Like, <laughs> that's just how I think. I could be wrong, but come on. We, we have to be able to have the technology to know what that stuff is. This has been on YouTube for... Uh, Ever since it's been out, everybody's been screaming about it. Virginia 
Governor Northam declares state of emergency ahead of pro-gun rally. I wanted you guys to know that. It's very important if you live in Virginia. This is uh, on the 20th, and this is uh, not good. I think it's a scheduled uh, declaration will be in effect from Friday, January 17th at 5 p.m. until Tuesday, the 21st at 5 p.m. So state of emergency in Virginia, and of course this is over gun laws and everything that's happening in that state. Uh, pray about it. I, I don't know what else to do other than, you know, you can go to the rally, you can say your opinion, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to do. But they don't want anything bad happening, and neither do I. So anybody going to that rally, please keep your keep your cool and play it smart. That's that's what I would say about that. You don't want to show up and and you know start something because that could well indeed be what these people want. Fever chart: Earth has its hottest decade in 2010. So the Earth has its hottest decade in 2010. Okay, well, when did they start doing the, well, the geoengineering and all that to block, you know, to block the sun? I mean, it's, well, it's right here. Uh, spray sun-blocking chemicals into the atmosphere to cut global temperatures. Temperatures, uh, temperatures rise in half. So, but what if it's making it warmer from them spraying the stuff in the air? Scientists compare solar geoengineering to blood pressure medication. An overdose would be harmful, but a well-chosen dose could reduce your risks. This is just, yeah, we see it every day. Spraying chemicals into the atmosphere to block sunlight could cut global temperatures. Increase in half without any dangerous repercussions, Harvard University suggested. Okay, so let's spray this stuff in the air so the sun can't hit us, but is that what's really... I mean, you know, aviation experts puzzled after airliner dumps fuel over a city. So this was kind of interesting to me. This went right along with all this stuff. Let me see here. They got the pictures here, and, well, the pictures look so familiar, don't they? They just do. Like, these pictures look like something that we see daily, and it made me go, hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. So the flight dumps fuel over a school playground. Delta Airlines Flight 89 heading to uh, Shanghai. Yeah, it's dumping fuel, so they're calling this fuel and gas. I read the article. It's fuel and gas, and of course they got all these uh, people. Let's call them people. And, um, <laughs> you know, here's the video of it. It's kind of interesting how it does a U-turn in the air. But no, I mean, we see airplanes do that on a daily basis. Is it... You know why? I, I've never, I've never, we've never really heard of that. We, of course, we got to watch this whole thing. Okay, so here's the plane. As you can see, we've we see this daily. It does this like they go back and do this like U thing. Like it goes in a curve here, and then it they spin the camera around. But we see this, every, we see it all the time. So I don't understand, I don't understand behind, behind why that was put out. You know, like what's, what's your reason for that? I understand that if an airplane dumped fuel on a bunch of children over a playground, that it would not probably be good. And they say in here that they washed the children off and everything turned out all right. But it's kind of something we see every day. I mean, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here. And if that's what dumping fuel looks like, then we've got airplanes dumping fuel all over the place. The crazy thing is it says that they don't like dumping fuel over populated areas and schools, but they'd rather do it over um, the ocean. They should have gone over the ocean and landed ocean or landed heavy weight. So they should have done this over the ocean. So instead of school kids, they should have put it in our water. Unbelievable. Eastern uh, extreme weather events expected in 2020 warns the UN. Well, they're here. They're here now, and the UN is absolutely correct. Let's see if this will load. Okay, whales. Hundreds of starlings found dead were avoided, avoiding a bird of prey. So they're saying all these dead birds 
are, were av avoiding a bird of prey. Dozens of birds found dead on Welsh Road. This is creepy. This looks like something out of the Twilight Zone. I thought this was very interesting because, well, I don't know what to believe, and they don't even know, and it's just, that's just... <laughs> Hundreds of starlings found dead. They were avoiding a bird of prey. And thank you so much, uh, Helen, for bringing this up. Uh, this is the second night we used this. And she says, doesn't say what they have ruled out, though. Exactly. It's just, birds just died. They didn't say what ruled out. And this just came in, I guess, a little bit ago. Uh, TX to truth. Thank you guys for following me on Twitter. She says, that, what the heck is this? It just rolled into Virginia. So there we have it. I don't know what that is. That's very interesting, to say the least. Any of you guys know what that is, comment below. It looks like, this looks like it has tracks on it. And it kind of looks like a bobcat of some sort. But you guys, follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description box below. This is what my profile looks like and come over and um, share some love and, and drop some truth and we figure this stuff out together as a family. Here we are. Winter, uh, win weekend winter storm will make travel hazardous across the central U.S. and northeast. You think? Now, I personally think they're under calling this storm and I'm going to show you why. So this is total. This is the rain as of now. This is total precipitation now. If you look over here, this is hours, forecast hours, 12 hours. This is 12 hours from now. This is 18 hours. And you can see this thing's a monster. Comes up and slams, of course, right into Pennsylvania and heads off. But, you know, the states north are the ones that are going to get most of this. The crazy thing about it is after this storm comes through, I'm going to show you how much snow this is here in a second. After that one comes through, we got another one that looks exactly the same. You know, when is this? The 25th of January. It's almost like the weather repeats. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And we got another one coming up January 31st. Now we'll hold, see how that holds true, but moving right along, we'll look at how much snow that's going to put on us here in a second. Let's check the outages real quick, see what the outages are. So we got no outages at the present time. Okay, we're here at the next rad radar. The composite radar imagery we find all kinds of really wild stuff like this you guys this is what's going through the air in california can you see it you can probably see it from there but let's see if we can't bring it up a little closer and check it out all right so this is the stuff that's in our sky this is dirty electricity this stuff can't be good for us because we walk around, well, on rubber-soled sneakers and we don't touch the ground. But look at this. This is insane. Let me back this up a little bit. So we got it here. Let's go back and see where else this stuff's at. But this is going, yeah, we got it down here too. Let's see if we can just get down here. Look at this. Unbelievable. Now, I know a lot of you guys have told me there's a military base down there, but that doesn't excuse the fact that there's all this energy in the air, you know? And, you know, what do you do with all this energy? This it almost looks like plasma. It's just unbelievable. And the storms, well, they don't even look real. Look at this. I mean, you guys, I don't know. Maybe it's me, but I just remember when the storms would always come from the west and go across to the east and all of our storms like they're all nor'easters they all head northeast and they're all coming out of the same area down here it's really odd i've been watching weather my entire life it's it's something i really enjoy and it, it's a lot of fun to catch stuff and see some crazy things on here and well we typically do Puerto Rico earthquake. You guys, these guys have been blasted and blasted and blasted. This island has shaken to the ground. I got pictures I'm putting up probably in the next show. I've been contacted by two or three people that live in Puerto Rico and are taking pictures. And I'm telling you what, the buildings are just flattened. Uh, it, it's horrible. They already, they already had you know, problems from the 
storm that went through the hurricane and they're just getting just slammed so keep them in your prayers let's check the earthquakes now and wow look at this this is really crazy so we got a lot of earthquakes going on 44 minutes ago um we've got rule island in new zealand 5.2 here's another one it's 5.3 Indonesia 4.8 Indonesia 5.0 Puerto Rico right there again 3.1 99 minutes ago you guys this this is also biblical it, it just is it talks about all this stuff it says you know being prepared is awesome let's check a tsunami and see if there's any tsunami watches or warnings being prepared is awesome but make sure you're spiritually prepared no tsunami advisories or warnings at this present time. I always go to the earth now and look at the waves. All this is is wave heights and just make sure that this little island here doesn't have anything big coming off of it. So right now, there is no tsunami watches and we are good. The Schumann Residence. Everybody, you guys, not everybody, but a lot of you guys love that I put this in the show and every day we do it. 7.83 hertz is what we're supposed to be experiencing between the crust of the earth and the ionosphere or the dome. So this is what the frequency is supposed to be. Um, it, it, it interacts with the way we think. Obviously, if this goes really high, anxiety and all this stuff. And the crazy part about it is they talk about it like they tell you doctors and researchers talk about this and they tell you when it's high it's very bad so the last time i checked it, it was 41 let's check it again anything above 30 guys is high 41 so they give you there doesn't seem to be any interruption uh, there has been a constant and continuous increase that has brought an amplitude of the resonance to power 41 at midnight so it's going up See, it says, tell us what you feel. If you come down here and look at the comments, well, I'm going to show you. Professors, doctors, I mean, um, so 170 will put most humanity over the edge. I mean, these people are very intelligent people that have been following us for a very long time. They look at the data, they study the data, and it affects the way they feel. So when we look at this every day, I'm still learning about it. There's so much to learn about this. When we look at this every day, besides the frequencies we already have, with look, it went black. The frequencies we have in the weather, we've got this, which is, I don't know, kind of crazy in its own because, you know, we don't know what's going on. It went totally black. So there you have it. I mean... It's funny because you wonder, is someone shutting this off? But, you know, we don't know. I don't know. And like I said, I'm still learning about this. But this is, this is, in my opinion, ridiculous. Look how spiked and off the charts this looks. And it's supposed to be, you know, a nice light green line across this. So if anybody's feeling kind of funky, <laughs> it could be. It could very well be this from the studying that I've been doing and looking into it. So this is UTC time. Let's check that out. That would be 4 a.m. and it's 11 on the East Coast. So that would be four hours. They're four hours ahead. But it doesn't matter much when you can't, you can't read it. Go on to air. Let's check our air out and see what the air has. So we got, uh, let's refresh this here real quick. Wow, look how very unhealthy. So you guys know where, when it's when it says very unhealthy, like very unhealthy. These are carcinogen, guys. Go to Air Now. Uh, just type in Air Now on Google. Go to Air Now and check it out. Put your zip code right here and look at this. I am not sure where that's at, but it's, actually hazardous uh, AQI hazardous 301 to 500 health warnings of emergency conditions the entire population is more than likely affected you know, this is in our country um, Montana Arkansas California Arkansas Montana this is horrible actually 
I'm going to come back to this. Let me go to the earth null, earth null and see if it shows the same thing. Let's bring this up and kind of check because it doesn't, this never matches up with, with the, um, with air now. So I don't, particulates, PM two fives. And yeah, it's, uh, it's both saying the same thing. So if you look right in here, it's really, really bad. Really bad. Now these are, like I said, these are uh, two. Wow. That's horrible, guys. Absolutely horrible. So go to air now. It looks to be like it's the same place. I always double check both sources because if you check both sources, you get a better understanding of what's going on and where this stuff's at. You know, it, it gives you pretty much a, a sure deal. But this is this is absolutely outrageous. It's unhealthy. It's hazardous. And what's it doing here? And where's it coming from? You know, I think if you think critically, you can think of what's, you know, what's in the air. Is it really us? I mean, they blame this stuff on exhaust coming from the car. They blame this stuff on factory dust. They blame it on us. Like, <laughs> it's always blamed on us, you know? I, I just, I don't get it. I don't, how can, you know what? <laughs> Moving right along. Stick with me. We're almost to the snow and done and to the diseases. I think we have a new one here in the States. You guys, earthing is my thing. You guys know it. It's, it's helped save my life. I was in bed for two years. Uh, this is 62 bucks. Really? It's, it's like very, very, very inexpensive and it works. I would never, 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 never come on here. I can show you what I got. And I saw that some of you guys are actually ordering this. They got sleep recovery, everyday use, all kits. I bought this kit right here two years ago. And today it works. I mean, it, it's worked since then. It comes with the throw. It comes with the rod that you stick in the ground. You can run this right in your window and you can hook it up. This book right here, the Earthing book, is almost as thick as a Bible, and it tells you all the benefits, the health benefits in earthing. So if it's something you're interested in, I'm bringing it up because they have a sale on it. And <laughs> I'm actually earthing now. So I always I'm, I always got my throw, and this little wire that plugs into the throw, it's real simple. It's a little wire like that. It plugs into this. And actually, you guys want to save a couple bucks, you can buy the throw and put this on your bed and lay on it. But I'll tell you, when you touch this, it's so soft. And it, the router's right over there. And all that stuff they're putting you know, in the air and all this craziness and the Schumann resonance, when you touch ground, all that energy can goes out of your body and goes to ground. And the ground has so many antioxidants, so many, like, it's, it's awesome stuff. I wouldn't be talking about it if, if it wasn't. Um, it just is. So if you guys are interested in that, please check it out. They do have a sale, and that's a really good deal. As far as I'm concerned, that's really good. I had to save for mine. The kit was a little more expensive, and I actually had to save for mine. But then again, I went out in November and stood in my bare feet in the wintertime. So you can do it for free, and that's your choice. But if you go down to like the first video I ever did, no, the third it was my first YouTube video and an earthing. I do home remedies. I want you guys to feel better. And I'll tell you what, earthing makes you feel better. Anybody that's bought this stuff, because there are a lot of you guys that have bought it, please put your testimony, you know, put your testimony in the comments and tell other people, uh, you know, about it. Because people want to learn. They want to understand. I didn't understand it. I'm like, what's, you know, I stand in the yard with my bare feet? Like, Really? I didn't get it, you know? All right, so we got the snow coming. Let's check the temperatures real quick. These are maximum temperatures. We're going to go to minimum. Okay, so there we are. This is Saturday. Here is Sunday. It's getting colder, and it's getting colder Monday. And Tuesday. Winter's not over yet, guys. Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, Friday. So as you can see, it is getting colder. This is all the warnings and watches out right now. This is from the National Weather Service. 
Winter storms bringing blizzard conditions, heavy snow, and ice through Saturday. A spotting winter storm will continue to produce blizzard conditions across the eastern Dakotas, western, and southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. Areas of moderate to heavy snow are expected over much of the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and parts of northeast. This is bad stuff. Look at all these warnings, guys. This is all related to this storm. And, of course, I got my warning. Let me know if you got yours. This is uh, the current infrared map, and you can just see the moisture just piling on in. I mean, it's coming in. So they're not calling for much snow, but the thing is, let's look at the radar here real quick. I always like to look at this stuff. I so this is current, and you can see the snow is right almost at Pittsburgh. It's coming over Ohio. It's in Indiana, Ohio, and it's coming. It's moving It's moving closer. Check out the total snow accumulations. So this is usually the intro to the, uh, to the show. I like it because it kind of goes to the beat. So this is, uh, again, we got our hours over here, guys. So 30 hours out. And you can already see 6 inches, 6 inches, 7, 4, 2, 2, 2, all the way across the country. And we've talked about this. This, this storm on the 18th we predicted a week ago. A week ago. Like we did this at least a week ago. You guys can go back on the videos and check it out. I, I told you what we we're going to get and we're getting it. So these maps are pretty darn accurate. So this is um, Saturday, January 18th, and you already got that much. Now we're going to go a little slow. This is still the 18th, 18th. This is 36 hours from now, 42 hours from now, January 18th, and this is 66 hours from now. So it's stuck on January 18th. I don't know why. No, I'm sorry. This is January 22nd. Let's do that again real quick. It'll only take me a second here. So there's the 18th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. We got the 22nd, 23rd, and the 24th. So they're going to take us up to the 24th, and that's the total snow accumulation to the 24th of January. And I, like I said, it's like the whole half the country is going to be getting snow. So there's this total snowfalls. We're going to go straight into the recalls because I think there's a new one. And um, that would be right here. Uh, this is the USDA. And it says uh, January 10th. So we already covered this recall. If you guys have this stuff in your refrigerator, throw it out. Um, that's in a video I'll show you in a minute. This is the diseases. Now, I keep an eye on this. You guys, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in knowing what diseases are coming into the country. I think it's very important to know that Florida has got dengue in it. I predicted dengue to come in this country. It's here. So we got dengue here. We got um, 168 cases of of dengue during 2019 in Texas. This is new. Uh, all this stuff. So I keep an eye on this. I, I'm looking where the flu went. We had a, uh, 200 cases of the flu in Indiana, and all of a sudden it's missing. It will show up, however, if you go to Total Recall. It's right here. Check this video out, and it will show you what to throw away and the latest outbreaks that are in, that are in the country. Iranian hackers have been passed uh, password spraying U.S. grids. So this just came out too. It, it just came out a day or two ago. And I'm just going to tell you it's an EMP attack and the grid's always going down. <laughs> the grid's always going down, guys. Like it's just the way it is. I mean, they've told us to pack, you know, get ready for months. Like be six months prepared, food and water. The grid's, you know, fragile and... The cool thing about that is we have a giveaway coming up, and it's with EMP Shield. And EMP Shield is working with the DOD and working with our government to make the grid strong. What's cool about that is we're giving one away, and you can get them to strengthen your own grid so you guys can protect yourself. So let me show you that. I'm jumping ahead. Here's how you do it. You go to demandingthetruth.com. And you can just go to Google and check this out on Google. Type in demandingthetruth.com. When you get to demandingthetruth.com, 
you're going to see all of our videos, which if you get sick of YouTube, you can just come over here and, well, watch watch the videos. EMP protection giveaway. Right here it is. You can get one for your house, your vehicle, your camper, or your generator. You guys head to DemandingTheTruth.com and cannot wait to give this thing away, and it's of your choice. This stuff is loading up. And choose your EMP protection of your choice. So they got them for motorcycles, RV, solar, uh, generator. And again, they're working with the government. You guys can get these things for your house. So you're protected. Your vehicle. It could save your life. You could have the only generator working, the only the car that will start. It even protects you from lightning and solar flares. Really cool stuff. And like I said, they are working close with our government. So go check them out and uh, get yourself prepared. I'm trying to see. Everything's taking forever to load up. This is stuff I never show you guys. This is stuff I monitor and check and put on the show if needed. Thank you guys so much for uh, coming over and saying hello. And um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Check me out on Instagram below, if you would, please. And um, demanding the truth, make sure you go get your free MP Shield sign up for that. You got a good chance of winning. You just do. I mean, there's a thousand people signed up. So you got a good chance of winning. Prayer requests in the comments, please. I know, man, I, I know what hard times are, and I can relate to anybody, anybody that's out there having hard times. I just can. I'm with you. So please put your prayers below. I love I love praying for you guys. And not only that, but there's a prayer in the description box below. All the links, the EMP shield, the grounding links, and stuff like that, you know, they're down there. But like I said, please put your put your prayers below and let other people pray for you. And if you pray for somebody, give them a thumbs up. Um, put a smile on somebody's face. We're actually, we are a family, right? So it's all a good thing. If uh, nobody told you that they love you today, um, I had a comment that really, that really kind of touched me. Someone said, you know, I haven't had a person tell me that they love me in a long time or something like that. And you looked into the camera and I knew you meant it. And I'm like, well, of course I did. I don't just say words like that. But if uh, not one person told you today that they loved you, I love you. And so does he. God bless you guys. Thank you for all the pictures. We're going to have pictures of uh, Puerto Rico tomorrow, hopefully. I'm going to try and get them all together. And we're going to throw them at the end like this and shout some names out so god bless you guys thank you for all the pictures thank you for everything you do and uh i'll see you sooner than later careful who you cross careful who you test You'll get my best Cause I don't know how to back down How to back down No, I don't know how to back down How to back down Careful I'm a lion, don't test my pride Standing like a mountain, looking the devil right in his eyes